let's have a look at the four strokes of a spark ignition engine the first stroke is the suction stroke where the intake valve opens and the air fuel mixture will be sucked into the combustible by the moving of piston from tdc to bdc and it will complete the intake stroke and the second stroke is the compression stroke where the piston moves from bdc to tdc by compressing the air fuel mixture to a high pressure and high temperature then we will initiate the combustion by providing a spark from the spark plug which is situated in the center of the combustion chamber and the spark will be uh, spark will initiate the combustion and the combustion stroke will be complete when the piston moves from tdc to bdc and the last stroke is the exhaust stroke where we will expel the dent gas out of the combustion chamber by opening the exhaust valve and this this will complete the four stroke cycle and it will repeat again and again and uh, the ca engine will replace the spark plug by a fuel injector we will have a look at it after this video Compression stroke of diesel engine we will raise the air temperature to the auto ignition temperature of fuel by compressing it to a high temperature and then then we will initiate the combustion by spraying the fuel into the combustion chamber to the air which is at a higher temperature then we will commence the combustion then similar to the SA engine the burnt gases will be taken out through the exhaust valve in the exhaust stroke which is the last stroke in diesel engines too. This is the P theta diagram of a spark ignition engine that is showing knocking that is happening in, uh, in a spark ignition engine which is the petrol engine. First we will look at how the knocking happen in a petrol engine. In petrol engine the combustion is initiated by the spark that is produced from the spark plug and it will ignite uh, the air fuel mixture and the burning will commence and the flame flame will travel burning all the air fuel mixture that is surrounding it and there will be unburned gases underneath and the burned gases will have higher pressure and temperature and it will actually combust the unburned gases and the combustion of the unburned gases will raise the temperature of this unburned gases to a high temperature that may reach the auto ignition temperature of gasoline. If it arrives at the auto ignition temperature of the gasoline, the unburned gases also self ignite. And the self ignition will also provide another flame thread that is traveling from here to here to the top and it will collide each other and the collision will lead to a very high pressure and this high pressure will lead to a very high vibration that will damage the engine components so knocking is a bad phenomenon that limits the performance of the engine actually so in the petrol engine actually the knocking or detonation happens at the end of the combustion stroke where uh, we uh, it is starting from the suction and then it will come to the combustion there where uh, the compressor will be slightly increased and we will ignite the air fuel mixture by providing the spark and the uh, and highly uh, the pressure uh, of the air fuel mixture will rise up and the uh, flame front collision will lead to knocking which will be an unwanted higher pressure rise in between it will damage it will actually damage the engine parts we have to prevent it so uh, now we are going to look at uh, how the knocking process happens in a combustion ignition or a diesel engine in diesel engine it will be a different phenomena Knocking of diesel engines is caused by the ignition delay. Ignition delay is nothing but the time taken to initiate the combustion after injection of the fuel. We know the combustion in CA engine is initiated by injecting the diesel fuel into the combustion chamber. And ignition delay is the time period that is taken in between the injection of the fuel and starting of the combustion so as this period increases the probability of knocking will also be rise up it is because if the ignition delay is very much high it will lead to high accumulation of the diesel fuel if there is lots of diesel fuels has been got accumulated in the combustion chamber 
in the initiation of the combustion there will be a very high pressure rise so it will lead to the knocking in diesel engine so as i said the knocking process in combustion ignition engine will start at the beginning because uh, it will be the knocking will be happen the unwanted pressure rise will happen at the beginning of the combustion process because of the accumulation of fuel only due to the ignition delay so let's summarize both the in spark ignition engines the knocking will be caused only due to the flame front collision the two flame front collision but in the ca engine it will be due to of uh, the ignition delay that is uh, uh, dependent on the fuel ct number uh, in spark ignition engine the knocking happens at the end of combustion stroke and in ca engine or diesel engine the knocking happens at the beginning of the combustion stroke both will be dangerous and we have to maintain the speed of the engine with respect to the knocking limits thank you